brand new hive. So we have a sweet lady that has a bee problem. She had some bees move in under her front porch and they stung her last week and she didn't know what to do. And she happened to be friends with somebody that has seen our channel. I think her name was Leanne. So thank you, Leanne, for referring us to this lady. And she contacted us asking if we'd come help remove the bees and give them a new home. And so we've been spending the last couple days getting a new hive ready. So we've got a bunch of tools. We're gonna pry up the front porch. Uriah is gonna come with me. You ready to do this? Yeah. So let's go see if we can rescue this hive of bees okay. under a front porch. Here we go. All right, all right. Oh, those might be wasps. So these might be wasps here or something. No, they're bees. They're not honeybees. I've got some on the floor uh -huh. in the living room. And on the floor? Uh-huh. Yeah. What do you mean? They're going in through my floor. Going right in through now. the floor? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Come on in. Hi, I'm Susan. I noticed that I had some uh, what I thought were honeybees coming out from the front of my porch. And so I contacted people on Facebook. I put it out there on my friend's Facebook page. And uh, a friend of mine uh, contacted me and she gave me Jake's uh, information and Jake contacted me. And so he was fast at getting back to me about uh, wanting some honeybees. And so he came today and got under my porch and we found more we didn't find honeybees. We found something a little bit more um, more than honeybees. They were kind of like wasps, and there were like a couple of different kinds of wasps. All right, so we've been here for a few minutes, and we thought we were coming out to get some honeybees, and I couldn't really see on the video she sent me. The, the bees or wasps were all moving so fast when she sent me a video when she put citronella out. There's some little form of wasps, and they're not yellow jackets, but they're something a little small. And so we've got them going in under the house here. We're gonna try to take away some boards, see what's going on, but unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to take a honeybee hive home today but hopefully we can help take care of her problem. All right, what should we do here, bud? Take it all apart. So they've they've stung her in the past and we don't want that to continue to be a problem for her. We helped with a swarm of some wasps last year, Eli and I did, and so not too bad to, to suck them up with a shot back and get rid of the problem for her, but it's a bummer, it's not bees, but hopefully we can take care of the problem. So we weren't making much progress by just sucking up the wasps as they seemed to keep multiplying. And Susan was getting a number of the wasps inside her living room. We started to pull up the deck flooring to see if we could find their nest. I had quite a few wasps trying to sting me, and at this point, I think I had been stung twice. Once on my back, and another under my arm. Not great, but it's expected when they're this upset. As we opened up under the house, we found quite a few wasps and thought this must be the source, but as I searched around, I couldn't find any nest underneath the living room. We'll keep doing this until we make sure what's out here is gone. You can pull, you can pull that all back so you can see. In there. I'm just afraid to damage too much. Oh. Like right around the house, it's like where it's kind of mushy a little bit. Is that okay if we yeah. rip into that a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Pull then we... it all out. Okay. Then I started noticing more wasps would come out as I disturbed the wall. So I thought I might find a way to look up there. I actually think they might be up inside this wall right here. Every time I kind of dig up that way, that's where more drop out. So I kind of thought they were under the house initially, but there here comes a whole bunch more. So. I think they're up inside this wall. All right, so I'm able to stick my phone in the wall now and we're able to see their, their hive. We finally found it, but can we get it? Can we knock it down and get it out? That's gonna be the problem. were they causing for you over the past week? Oh, they were coming into my house. I was living in my bedroom because they were coming in through the windows and coming up through the floorboards. And so that's what I was scared of. I live alone, I'm 65 years old. I didn't know how to get rid of them. I am kind of a naturalist. I don't want to kill the bees. And if they were honeybees, I certainly didn't want to kill the bees. I think we need to relocate them. These bees were in, on the floor 
um, I had put cinnamon around the floors and they had... Um, and then some mud doppers, why not? <laughs> but it was like one or two here and there. But then it got to be gradually more and more and more. Um, and Jake came and got them before they got to be really bad. But then when he got them stirred up, it was quite a deal. How many did you How many did you get in here while we were working in the wall? I'm gonna say good hundred. Good hundred. Once we got them, once we got them stirred up, I was swatting here and there. Hmm. I worked up a good sweat. <laughs> so yeah, it was quite a few. It looks kind of cute. So we're finally able to start pulling some of this out of the wall. And there's the first big chunk. I know there's at least one more in there. Got the wall pulled out just a little bit so I can pull this down. My goodness. These are very little. This side's very little. And then this side is much bigger. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at all this comb we found, guys. Oh, man. So many wasps. Can you believe that? No. So we're down to just a couple wasps left here. They're going in. They were probably out while we were doing all of that. And now they're coming home to find out there's nobody here. Well, we initially were trying to just suck them up through that hole and we couldn't figure out where they were coming from. And then we went underneath the house. We saw some, but we still couldn't find their nest. And then finally, when we went up into the wall, pulled the wall out, I was able to reach up and pull out all of this column. Oh my gosh, that was wild. Well, came here for bees and found something a little different. Glad to help, because she's been swiping dozens inside the house while we're doing this. So they were gonna keep causing her problems if we didn't find the source of this. So man, am I glad that we got to the bottom of it. And so it's gonna continue to be a problem because a lot of these are gonna keep emerging out and they're gonna have more and more. And gosh, she would have been flooded with them over the next few weeks from all of this. So we're gonna put them into a bag. We're gonna go burn them. So are you relieved that we found the comb and got it out of the wall? I hope you guys look at the, the comb that he got out. There is a big pile of it. Yes, I'm very relieved. Very relieved. So yes, it was a blessing. Uh, yeah, believe. <laughs> it's believe, yeah. Thank you. Did you get stung at all? Twice. Twice? We're at this one arm. I think I got stung four times on the back initially and then my wrist is really hurting. Just some tight spots where they were able to squeeze in enough and part of the job. Yesterday was a bummer. We didn't get a new hive of bees, but we've been doing really well this year. We haven't lost any hives. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got ten over here in the apiary. We've added two this year from a couple different wild swarms or the bee emergency with the tree that fell. And then we added this yellow hive uh, recently from a swarm trap on our property that I moved over at night and it went really badly. The bees were stinging me like crazy. Mm. Mm. But we're gonna check all these bees. We're in October now, so we're not taking any more honey, but we're gonna check on all of them. I've got some Apivar strips to make sure they're all treated for mites going into winter. And I'm excited to go check on our flow hives and our ivory beehive, the, the round beehive. Oh, and I've got Eli with us. So it's been a while since he's come out and helped, so I'm glad to have his help out here today. We're in the yellow hive. That's some beautiful honey, about half cat frames, looking really good. So the things I'm looking for all year long, but especially before the bees go into winter, do they have a laying queen? Are there mites, beetles, and wax moths in their hive? And do they have enough food to get through winter? And in the new yellow hive, their honey supply was almost gone. And this is our new yellow hive that we moved over from a wild swarm that we caught in the woods at our property. Uh, just a couple weeks ago. And decent amount of bees, 
little small for this time of year, but we'll see if we can get this one box through the winter. There's our queen. So these guys need to be fed. They're all out of resources. They had some honey when they went in here, but they haven't been storing it well. So we're gonna take a couple frames from a few other hives and then we'll start to feed over in this bee yard because it looks like they're really short on honey right now. So that'll help them get by for at least the next couple months. I'll have to feed them here out in the bee yard though because they're just, they have way less feed than they had when I moved them over. But temporary problem has been resolved. That's a good one. There's our, there's our queen right in the middle. One of our better queens this year in the red flow hive. Lots of pollen coming in, love it. Okay. So this is our ivory beehive, our round beehive, and we're really excited to see inside, but also I think everybody's interested to see how these guys do in winter. So they have this lid that you can just take off pretty simply. And then they have a transparent cover in here underneath it so the bees don't swarm you as soon as you open up that top lid. And then you've got to pry this off. And sometimes I've come out here and this transparent lid stuck to the, the comb. So let's see if we can get it off here. So after about three and a half months, they started over here and they got almost to the end. They started to build out the comb on these last couple and then they, they stopped. So they've kept their resources up on this side of it now. Here's one of the round frames here. So you can see the capped honey in the top half and then they've started to build it out all the way around. I've got it stuck to another frame here. Cool thing is we've been seeing a lot of hive beetles and our other hives. Have you seen any in this hive? No. No? So I don't know if it's just the location we're at, better defenses against it, but looks like they have a good amount of resources going into winter. So they've got a lot of honey that's kept all throughout. They did send me, I know a lot of people ask, how do you harvest honey? You could just take a frame out and you could scrape some honey off of it. And Ivory Bee, they sent me an add-on that you can put these little boxes basically on top, keep its shape, and then it still has some space in top to um, have some little supers that produce a little small amount of honeycomb. So we'll try that next year since we're just about the, at the end of the season now. So ivory beehive looking great. Let's go inside. I have one frame of honey that I'm going to extract right now just so we have some honey over there. Yes. Go ahead. You can scrape it off. Ooh. Is it worth it? Yeah. All the work? You want some? I just try it. Okay. A little piece. We try it on there, Dad. What do you do? Just yeah. eat it and then you can spit it out after you chew it up. Hang on. Let's see what you think. Come on, you're my honey bee keeper. What do you think? What do you think it what does it taste like? Bad. Why is it bad? Because I don't like it. Is it too sweet? Yeah. Crazy. Uriah's my, my beekeeper and doesn't like our honey, but the other guys do. What do you think? Good. Good. Mmm. Wow. Honey is delicious. Yum!